Hello Eagles! Welcome to Blue Eagle News, information for our students by our students. Welcome to this last day of April. I'm Mia Summers. And I'm Lady Ucello. We have just 30 more days till the last day of school, and there's a lot to cover today, including a pretty cool shout out to one of our teachers for some great work. It's time to get you motivated for college. Mrs. Musinskitz wants you to get a jump start on your college education. If you are a student interested in taking a UConn ECE course next year, please join the ECE Google Classroom with the following code for the 2021 to 2022 school year. FAB7WQJ. All announcements and updates will be posted here. You can email Mrs. Musinskis with any questions. AP testing is right around the corner. Testing starts this Tuesday, May 4th. All tests have either an 8 a.m. or 12 p.m. start. Be sure to get there a half hour early. All in-person tests, with the exception of World Language, will be held in the Media Center. The Spanish exam will be held in the Language Lab on the third floor. U.S. History and Psychology will both be held at home on your Chromebooks. These two are a little later, with U.S. History on the 19th and Psych on the 20th. If you have any questions, email Mr. DeGuire at mdeguire at weathersfield.me. Good luck to everyone taking an AP exam. Weathersfield High is pleased to announce that Ms. Kelsey Kapelzinski has been selected as the recipient of the UConn Early College Experience, to many it's better known as ECE, Rookie of the Year Award for Excellence in First Year Course Instruction. This year she was guided by veteran teacher Mr. Dan Jensen to teach the AP Statistics course. Well, she knocked it out of the park and has been recognized for her work. She was also spotlighted on WTNH Channel 8's What's Right with Schools on the last night's 5 o'clock news. Congrats to you, Ms. Kapelzinski. WHS is lucky to have you as part of our school family. Up next, Audra Saladin is here with news for the senior scene. Hey guys, it's Audra Saladin here for the senior scene. We have a lot of news today. Last week, Ms. Yasko sent out an email with an attachment of all senior events with dates and times. Senior prom is still being arranged and decisions are still being made. It is currently scheduled for May 22nd from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the high school. Our senior outing is scheduled for Monday, May 24th at Boulder Ridge Day Camp. Dollars for Scholars is May 26th. Academic Award Night is Wednesday, June 2nd. And Sports Awards are Tuesday, June 8th. There will be two graduation rehearsals, one on Thursday, June 10th at 1 p.m. at the high school, where we will receive our caps and gowns, and another one on Friday, June 11th at 12.45 p.m. at Cove Park. Graduation is Friday, June 11th at 6 p.m. at the Cove, followed by gra Safe Grad. There is a lot of information being shared with us, so make sure to check your emails and the Senior Class of 2021 Google Classroom. You can join with the code GVDIZN4. Back to you guys. All students and staff are invited to participate in the National Day of Prayer on Thursday, May 6th. The Student Prayer Group Crossfire and the WHS Staff Prayer Group will be meeting at the North Art Cafeteria entrance at 7 a.m. for prayer. Come and join with others around the country as we pray for our school, community, and our nation. Hope you can make it. See Mr. Mosier in room 116 if you have any questions. Don't forget to plan an afternoon to watch the Varsity Boys Baseball play against Newington at Dunkin' Donuts Park in Hartford next week on May 5th at 3.45. Entry is free and parking is $5. The concession stand will be open and please plan for the no cash facility. All social distance measures are expected and masks are required to watch the game. Make it an afternoon of fun and go support our team. And now, Xavier with the yoke. Hey Xavier, we missed you last week. Jokes, jokes, so many jokes. It makes people laugh and smile. Jokes, jokes, so many jokes. Let's start the yoke of the day. What do bumblebees and squirrels eat for breakfast? Honey, not Cheerios. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday. Have a sweet weekend. And always keep on being you. The Teenage Republican Club had their first in-person meeting yesterday after school, and they are excited to get some more members. If you're interested in joining this group, you can get in touch with Jack Culpa or Christian Semino, or join the Google Classroom code with code ZIMP536 for more information. 
Brothers and Sisters United continues to hold their drive to collect items needed for the homeless. Items needed are prepackaged masks, hand sanitizer, small packages of tissues, toothpaste, toothbrushes, and other toiletries. Collection boxes are located in the main office by the pool entrance in room 104. Please drop off your donations by May 4th. See Mrs. Duggins with any questions. And for the sports world, Jimmy Clark is here to update us on what's happening with Eagles sports. Well, we're back here with another sports report, and it's time to run over the winning scores of last week. Boys lacrosse started on Monday with a 20-8 win against Lewis Mills, while softball took out Rocky Hill 6-3. We got to Tuesday where boys golf beat Rocky Hill, and Ethan Sittler is the medalist of the game. Then on Wednesday, baseball took out Bloomfield Aerospace 17-5 on the road, while boys tennis beats Granby 6-1, and softball takes out Bloomfield 18-0. You can find today's scores online in the Athletic Department website under the Today's Contests tabs. We now send it back to the studio. Thanks for joining us today, and remember to stay informed with school news and announcements by following us on Instagram at Blue Eagle TV 411 You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter at Blue Eagle TV. Please subscribe to us on YouTube at Blue Eagles for all of our videos and any upcoming live streaming events. If you have an announcement or recognition that you would like to share with our WHS family, please email Blue Eagle News at Blue Eagles at Weathersfield.me. Until next time, I'm Lainey Ucello. And I'm Mia Summers for Blue Eagle News.